What's going on, guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cards, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now, guys, I'm going to get straight off into this topic today, beard breakage, okay? So, I had one of the brothers hit me up, talking about beard breakage. I wanted to know some uh, tips and tricks. So, in this video, that's what I'm going to be breaking down, okay? So, I got a whole list of stuff sitting out here in front of me. I'm going to talk about them individually and uh, see if I can help this brother out, okay? video always does a little bit better and this is why i like you guys to ask questions if you have them leave them down below also there's a lot of brothers on here it's already in this bearded game that ain't having any struggles if you guys have something some kind of tip leave it down below also if i leave something out that you do kind of get conversation in the comments and help other people out you know what i'm saying so all right so here we go the first thing for me is to know what's going on and to make sure you have all the right products okay because sometimes what happens is you have products but they're not the right ones okay they're not doing the job so sometimes you got to switch it up but when you find the right products it's a good thing to just go ahead and stick with those especially when it comes to conditioner and beard butters things of that nature you know what i'm saying uh our beard our beard conditioner and beard wash so the first thing is going to be just washing your beard okay don't overwash your beard and if you do wash your beard in my last video, like I said, use a good beard wash, guys. This is Scotch Porter. Use a good beard wash, okay? That's going to be one of the first steps for me personally. That's just picking out a product, okay? So pick out a good beard wash. Don't overuse it. Just make sure you pick out a good one. The same thing goes with all the rest of these products that I'm pissing the line out, okay? So the next thing is, if you're having beard breakage, make sure that you got a good oil. You know, if you're bearded... If you're having like, you know, because I don't know, I can't see you, so I'm just assuming that maybe you have, maybe your beard is really dry, things of that nature. So make sure you pick out a good beard oil. If you, uh, if you're doing like a beard butter night or something of that, something of that sort, uh, and a co-wash, and you're still having a dry beard during the day, make sure you get maybe, maybe just pick up a thicker oil, you know, something like, um, something like this right here. This is Spartan's Den. This is a real thick beard oil. You could also get you something like this right here. This is a uh, Artius Man. Maybe maybe this way. So these two right here, what it is is they're a thick beard oil. So I don't use them that much, <clears throat> only because for me personally, you know, everybody's beard is a little different. You got to get to know your beard. So for me personally, this beard oil is a little thick. It's a little oily. It lasts, it lasts a lot longer throughout the day. But if you have a real dry beard, then this is a good option is to pick out a thicker oil that lasts longer throughout the day to keep that beard nice and moisturized, things like that, okay? The next thing I wanna do is I wanna show you, let me find something here. Let me just, let me, hopefully we can see it on this. We'll get this right here. All right, so I'm gonna take this right here. Okay, now I'm gonna actually show you one of the beard hairs that came out of my beard. Okay, so here we go. Let me get this up here. So this is one of the beard hairs. You can't hardly see it right now, but I'm going to put something in front of it, okay? So this is, a, this is one of my beard hairs right here. So you see the very tip of that hair? I'm sure you could probably see that. Right there. The very tip of that hair, if you look at it closely, it has a little white round ball on it kind of like a kind of like a bulb just a little white bulb on it okay i can see that so i'm pretty sure you guys can see that the rest of the beard hair is black the very tip is white now that is just actual beard shedding so if you're seeing hairs like that and you can feel like you can run your you can run your finger down that hair and you can actually feel that bulb on the very end of it that is just natural beard shedding okay beard breakage will not have that white bulb or ball, whatever you want to call it. Okay, <clears throat> so you have to figure that part out. And the next thing is, once you find, you know, a decent beard wash that's working good for you, because some of these washes are real stripping, like I said in a previous video, they're so stripping that your beard will feel really jacked up the next day, okay? So after you find that beard wash and you know you got a good oil, <clears throat> the next thing is going to be a uh, co-wash. How do you pick a good co-wash? The way I would do it personally, is you can listen to me you can go well, listen to uh, you know a thousand other people's videos on co-wash and listen to some of these brothers you know they're really putting out good videos out there talking about this co-wash so 
you know, there's a lot of co-washes out there that are real stripping. You got to watch out for that. You don't want that. You don't need that. So you need to find a good co-wash, which I showed before. Scotch Porter is an awesome co-wash. I just grabbed a couple here. This one, you can't read it anymore. But if you can find this, and it's the Command Co-Wash, okay? So both of these co-washes right here will leave your beard nice and soft. If you are not co-washing but once a week, try stepping it up to two or three times a week. If that ain't working for you, try doing it daily and see if that works for you to help eliminate that beard breakage because this is, could be another main reason, okay? So, you know, you got up in the morning, you did your daily routine, you put your oil in, you made it throughout the day, you came home, you got in the shower, whether you did a beard wash, you know, most people don't wash every day depending on how dirty you get, and then you went to your co-wash, which your good co-wash that you know works. So now the next thing you're gonna do is simply step out the shower, dry your beard to about 90, 95%, not completely dry, okay? Just with a towel, pat it down. Uh, don't get it completely dry. And then me personally, I go again and I put in a light coat of oil, okay? I put in beard oil after I towel dry to about 90, 95%. Put in a little bit of oil, let that sit for a minute, okay? And then before I go to bed, I put in a good beard butter. Now, this is another key right here, is a decent beard butter. So I got a couple here in front of me. I just grabbed these off the shelf real quick to make this video. You do not have to get any of these. Most of these link links are in the description if any of you guys want them. Uh, you do not have to get any of these. This is just for the purpose of this video. So the next thing, after you put that oil in out of the shower, you let it sit for a little while, go to a good beard butter. Okay, so this is, showed this before, this is Live Bearding. This is Detroit Grooming. I don't know if you guys can read that because the way that label is. Anyways, Detroit Grooming, <laughs> Live Bearding. They both got an amazing beard butter, man. So <sighs> try one of them out. Make sure you got these products that are good, you know. Um, not everybody's the same, but make sure you got a good product and you're putting this in your beard. If you know you got a good product and or you think you got a good product, maybe try switching it up a little bit, you know. that Sometimes I can make all the changes in the world. So once you know you got good products and you're doing this daily, co-wash, um, some people say they don't know how to co-wash. Okay, so while you're in the shower, I like to start out pretty much first thing as I get in the shower, I go ahead, um, rinse the beard out with some with some warm water. I put the co-wash in. That's one of the first things I do as soon as I step in the shower. And I leave that in pretty much all the way until I get out the shower, okay? Then I rinse it out. So it sits in my beard, you know, I don't know, three to 10 minutes, depending on how long I'm in there. And uh, I rinse it out at the very end. So now we're moving on. We did that. We did the co-washing. We went to the butter. This is all at nighttime. You went to the beard butter. Get a good beard butter, man. Some of these beard butters, they really coat and nourish your beard all night long, man. It's very important. It keeps it where it's not so dry throughout the night, okay? So make sure you're getting a good one. And then the next step, this isn't just a step, but this is a key to me, okay? So when I first started out, I used to use a smaller comb, okay? So make sure you got a good comb, okay? This is a Kent comb. Don't use this small side over here, use this big side. You don't have to have that kink comb. If you don't have a kink comb, get you a bigger comb like this. The wider them teeth and the longer, the less it's gonna tug on your beard, okay? You could be actually ripping your beard hairs out as you're combing through it. You don't want that. Even while you're in the shower coat washing, use a comb like this, you can comb that out real slowly and make sure you get some of them knots out, things like that. And speaking of knots, if you're feeling knots while you're in your beard, uh, split ends like that, simply just find that one, pull it out, take a pair of scissors, and snip off that little bitty hair off that one. Snip the end off that little bitty hair right above that uh, split end, okay, or that knot. That really changes up the game too right there, you know, just to get rid of those split ends and stuff like that because that just creates more problems in your beard. You know, you want it nice and, nice and healthy. The next thing, and this is one of the biggest things that changed up my beard routine and beard game completely and i mean completely and that is this brush right here okay hopefully you can see that so 
I've always had one of these brushes laying around. <clears throat> this is usually a brush like a woman would use. So this brush is not, not only are these very flimsy, okay? They're just soft and they got little ball heads on it so they don't feel like they're scratching you. And this whole thing right here is soft, all right? So you can be really rough with this thing right here and still not cause any problems, all right? So the way that this brush is, is designed for all these bristles just to fold over, it's really soft on your beard. So when I used to comb a lot, I would notice a lot of beard hairs coming out, all right? With the brush, I noticed literally like a quarter of that shedding throughout the month, like a very, very minimum. So that's one of the biggest things for me is to get good tools, man. You know, just having these oils, is the, you know, the right oil, the right conditioner, the, uh, the right beard wash, the right tools, the right beard butter, and doing these all together. <clears throat> and then after you do all that, if your beard is still being dry throughout the day, you know, and you don't, like me, I rock my beard really straight, slap a beard butter in during the day. Try that too, see if that helps out. But these are the main things for me. I'm hoping somebody can relate. I'm hoping this can help somebody. Get your good oil, get your good wash, get your good co-wash, get your good beard butter, and get you some good tools. Snip those split ends and knots out, <clears throat> one at a time if you have to. And uh, make sure you're keeping that skin under your beard you know, make sure you're putting enough oil on that skin on your beard. That way everything is getting nice, moisturized and nourished, guys. That's very important. Between all these products, if you're doing this right, you shouldn't be having any beard breakage, all right? If you are, man, I'm just not sure what's going on, but I'm hoping this helps out. Use some of these products that are good like this. Get a routine going. Keep it consistent. Keep that routine consistent, guys, because that's key. All right, so... That being said, guys, hope this helped you out. Um, yeah, hope someone can relate. See you guys in the next one.